So we're going walking this afternoon. But then I had the genius idea that I actually haven't given you a recall video. And in all honesty, I haven't actually practiced recall that much here. Like had a session where that's what I want to work on. Um, and part of that reason is if I've got my treat pouch on me, if I've got a bag of treats on me, Nala walks to heel and I can't get rid of her. <coughs> and then I just kind of feel like, well, there's one that's not recalling. You could recall, couldn't you, beast? You've got better recall than the dog sometimes. So what I've got on me is squeezy cheese. But I think only one saw me get it out of the fridge um, and they haven't really they're not bothering me for it you know so Arya's being told off Beast has been a pain in the bum Beast wait Pod Podrek Podrek Pod he knows Podrek Pod Wait What pod l Is learning Or I don't have to remind him of is the girls are above him in this pack. He's not to join in with the bossing around and the tailings off. Um, There's somebody else is giving out. So um, he just needs reminding of that. So anyway, I've got a horse walking right there. So I'll do the first whistle. Nala's got some too. Oh, now you realised. Now you can have a little bit, even though you are really slow. Right. So, first one wasn't very successful. Can I go find her? Pod. Good boy. Boy. I still forgot to put that thing on him. in a hole in the side. Who well, hasn't had any? I'm sorry. Crazy. Right. I'm sure you've all had some now. Good guys. And it's like it's just as simple as this. And what I'd suggest if you're really struggling with recall is hire one of those dog fields, private dog fields where you're gonna be on your own. It's gonna be distractions because it's gonna smell of a lot of other dogs. Start on a long line, recall, and then use the long line to reel them in if they don't recall. Then you progress to take in the long line off. Um, but you're still in an enclosed field where, at the very worst, you can approach your dog, put them on lead, and go back to sort of the start of long line. So they don't really get a chance to ignore you. Whereas if you're up on the mountain, there's no way of enclosing them. So they can go a lot further and they can get away from you and they can get away with ignoring you. So 
we shall try again. And look at that. Good guys. Well done. Well done. So, you know, choose your dog's ultimate favourite treat. Like mine love cooked chicken. They love cocktail sausages. They love squeezy cheese. Um, for me, the squeezy cheese is effective because they don't see the container that the other uh, treats are in. You know, squeezy cheese goes in my leg and pocket. It's closed up. It's out of the way. Um, so, kind of takes out the anticipation a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's just repetition is little sessions like this just to remind them so as you know this is all whistle it's not voice as in i'm not using their names i'm not going come on guys anything like that they just got to listen to the whistle and not walk to heel I noticed somebody commented like how lovely like you know the birds are like, how you can hear them let me tell you those birds they start at about five o'clock in the morning um and they go all day so five o'clock in the morning if you're in a light phase of sleep they will wake you up ready good guy Licker, 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 it's on the side, good girl. Oh, pumpkin, call her nature. I'll forgive her for that, it's obviously. So I stopped filming there. Because um, there's actually a couple walking up with one dog and a couple walking down with one dog. Um, and the couple walking up are like kind of struggling to catch the dog and put it on the lead. I'm like, it's fine, we're in clothes. So I was, I had to shout to say that. Anyway, and um, we did a recall while they were walking past and we got it. So that's ultimate distraction training of a strange dog walking up. You can see Jude now is on high alert to look after us all. So we'll see what we got now, is it? Good girl pie! Oh, that was a big bit. She says, I don't mind. So I miss popped out. Didn't it? <laughs> so they kind of get a bit of extra running by doing it this way as well because obviously they go and do their own thing. I let them wander off. And then I recall them, and that's how you do it if you're in an enclosed field. And then what you gradually do then is you go somewhere that isn't enclosed, but it's quite open. So you can see things around you, and you can see where your dog is at all times, and you keep them on a long line. And then you practice. And then when you feel you're secure and confident in your recall, you try taking the long line off. And you work on it and then you know you just keep thinking like it's never shameful to say i need to go back a step and put the li long line back on and you might find that every so often the long line needs to go on just to remind your dog that when you say come you mean come that they have to come each and every time um and then go back a step like pod needs reminding because he'll take Pod, Pod, good boy, see he's looking, but he's not coming. Pod, Podrick. 
So how many times do I have to say his name then? He, he looked good boy for the first one. And he looked for however many more until he gave in and come. You're molting, buddy. You're molting. You can see the hair coming off him. Hmm. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's just practice. It's just reminding. And it, I never feel like these things are... I've trained it and they'll always do it. I thought, always find that you need little reminders. So, video cut off because I run out of memory. Um, I should have actually looked back at where exactly cut off because I carried on talking. I think a little while before I realised it stopped. But it took when the four youngsters were playing, it took um, one more um, whistle to get them back. So when they were high excitement four of them playing and running round and quite a distance away just two whistles for a return like to me I was quite pleased with that um so you know like different circumstances make it harder or easier like Dudley here if I wanted to recall him it's easy he's here you know yeah there's a head in the same way as me again easy it's when they're in front of you and they've got to turn around to come back to you, potentially leaving distractions, then that's where like the challenge and recall can come from. Uh, so we'll try again. Good guys. guys so um hope my recall tips have helped and uh yeah see you all soon bye